This is such a cool story. Google is teaming up with hundreds of schools to take students around the world from inside their classrooms. This program is called Expeditions and it uses virtual reality. It actually can teleport students to far-flung places often seen in their textbooks. Vanita Nair is at a New York City school using this technology. Vanita, good morning. Good morning. We're at Lab Middle School in Lower Manhattan where the kids are doing in just a few moments. This is about one of a hundred schools across the globe using this new virtual technology. We spoke with Google and they told us they came up with this idea after hearing from teachers who wanted to bring abstract concepts to life. Oh, hey, there's a scuba diver. Google's new program is taking kids on field trips where no bus has ever gone. This sixth grade science class plunged deep into Australia's Coral Sea, getting 360 degree views of the Great Barrier Reef. Look, that one. I see the scuba divers. The classroom scuba divers crisscrossed the planet to Ecuador's Galapagos Islands, getting an up close look at sea lions far below the surface of the ocean. Oh. It's actually pretty big. I mean, it's not, it's not too small. It's like a robin fish. You can just see it. The students pause to take notes before losing themselves in the imagery again. Okay, write down your observations at this point. Their teacher, Allison Davis, guided the tour from her tablet, stopping periodically to discuss what they were seeing. What tells us that the coral is thriving? Do you? Well, they're really colorful. They're not like, like in the video we watched for homework, they're not like bleached or anything. They point things out that I wouldn't even think to be looking at. Davis says it's a learning experience for both the student and the teacher and believes her students are gaining a better understanding of her lessons. They're making connections to things that they're hearing on the news and going on in the world. Those 360 degree views are created by stitching together photographs from Google Street View. 16 GoPro cameras are also used to make the trip feel lifelike. You put on the glasses, what is it like? Well, um, I think it's really cool because it feels like you're there. The panoramas themselves don't change. It's how the teacher applies it. Google program director Jennifer Holland, a former educator herself, says teachers can tailor the voyages to their curriculum. We had a math teacher that actually created an expedition on the Great Wall of China. And that same expedition was used by a 10th grade uh, Chinese language teacher to teach vocab. The kit includes a smartphone, cardboard viewers, a tablet for the teacher, and a router that allows expeditions to run offline if necessary. Google says they'll provide the kits free of cost for the first year, but will eventually charge schools. Can you give us an idea of a price point? Would it be the cost of a phone? Would it be the cost of a group of phones? I get that question all the time. <laughs> um, so, you know, to be honest, right now within the Expeditions Pioneer program, we're just trying to understand how the existing technology can work. We want to make it as accessible as possible. You can see the clouds. There's a question around cost and really thinking about um, the maintenance of the technology long term. New York Labs middle school principal Megan Adams says for cash-strapped schools, investing in the program may be hard. But she says it's an important learning tool. Some kids might see this technology and still prefer a textbook. But some kids will see this technology who don't normally engage in reading or discussion and all of a sudden understand the concepts. Now, it's not just virtual voyages. Google tells us in the near future they would love to expand into career options. What does that mean? Well, it means in the near future you could shadow a professional like a physician or a lawyer or Gail, maybe even a news anchor. <laughs> mm, I like it. I, I think the whole thing is genius. And so smart of Google to say, listen, we'll let you have it for a year and then charge. Yep. Because once you look into it, you want you're it. Sold. Whether you're 3 to 93, you're thinking, I want one of these. It's a form of immersion, really you know, and kids love being immersed in something. And it really is 360. I mean, you turn around <laughs> and everything is Come there. back, Christine. Okay, Come, back. Come, back, Christine. <laughs> Come back, Christine. Come back. Come back. Come back. Christine is back. We thank you again, Benita.